Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ekaterina Shalagina. I'm the first year student of international relations at Petersburg State University. Today, I want to tell you about Brexit, pros and cons. Here you can see the contents of today's discussion. The term Brexit is quite popular, and I think you have heard of it. If not, then it's a term that used to describe Britain's EU departure. Brexit may lead not only to the change in the EU-GB relationships, but to the constitutional shifts inside the country as well. People are still talking about pros and cons of Brexit to figure out if it was a mistake. The goal of my presentation is to analyze whether Brexit is bad for Britain or not. So let's start from the beginning. In 2014, Conservative Prime Minister David Cameron was worried about gains by the far-right United Kingdom Independence Party. So to mollify anti-immigration voters in his party, he promised a referendum on British exit from the European Union if he won the 2015 election. Cameron personally believed that it would be a mistake for Britain to leave the EU and campaign for voters to vote they remain in. But other members of his party campaigned for Leave vote. In the end, Leave won, with nearly 52% of voters deciding to exit the EU. Now, let's take a look at the advantages of Brexit. Firstly, the UK reclaims its sovereignty. Being a part of the EU required the British nation to cave into giving up the authority over certain national issues, reducing the powers of the UK Parliament. Brexit would open the door for Britain as an independent country to connect to the rest of the world. Secondly, national security. The new immigration laws will make it difficult for terrorists to enter the UK and also make it easier for the UK to deport violent criminals, which were a difficult task with the EU courts. The next one is increase in employment rate. As a result of an immediate reduction in number of immigrants, there would be a simultaneous increase in number of job vacancies in the nation. Lastly, the national trade. Leaving the EU, Britain will be able to independently access the international trade deals. UK will have an opportunity to negotiate for new deals and a chance to move goods freely. However, there are some disadvantages too. For example, loss of foreign investment. In 2012, almost half of the foreign direct investment that the UK received was associated with the activities of the EU. Due to the immense power of the EU in maintaining international connections, there is a high probability that Brexit would cause the nation a great deal of loss. Then we can see a shortage of high-skilled labour. Brexit would require all citizens of the EU nations to return back to their own country, leaving a large number of job vacancies. This could harm the potential economic growth of the nation. The other disadvantage is Britons living in other EU nations must return. Brexit would mean that the unrestricted immigration to and from the UK would be put to a halt, leaving 1.4 million people taking advantage of this agreement with a questionable status in the UK countries. The safest way for Britons to avoid conflicts will be to return. The last but not the least is rise of average household cost. The free of tax, import and export of products would no longer be possible between the UK and the member countries of the EU, leading to a swift increase in the price of various items. To sum it up, the whole world is waiting for the end of Brexit. A lot of people were speculating how it will be or whether it is a good decision or not. The list of pros and cons of Brexit that are represented in this presentation certainly prove that it is a quite complex situation. To conclude, I would like to say that it's really difficult to tell how Britain would change after Brexit since the COVID-19 outbreak is changing everything in the world. UK is now free to have partnerships with any of the countries. At this time, it is hard to say that either it is a good decision or not. But business analysts say it would be a great decision for UK in the future, as UK will have positive and negative impacts of Brexit on its economy.